so I was just about to do a workout, but then there was a knock at the door. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Pash. Welcome back, and today, I have a little bit of a drama story and an unboxing for you. I make videos anytime I want, so please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. Oh, okay guys, I have a hopefully amazing fun unboxing for you. If you follow on Instagram, you probably have an idea what my rant is going to be so you can skip ahead just to the beautiful unboxing. However, this is a item that I had purchased from Rebag, a bag that I've been thinking about. Actually, LV Coffee Lover, Tiffany, she had done a video on her most used bags and this is a bag I've been thinking about. She had put it on that list and I was like, you know what? My girl knows bags and it must be fate. I need to get this bag. So what I've been doing this year, if you haven't seen from some of my purge videos, is that I have been selling items out of my closet to fund my new purchases. So I am not actually spending any of my own money to buy these items. I just think it's neat. It's kind of my new 2023 because I have started a few new businesses, ventures on my own. I wanna to try to do some more like e-commerce. And speaking of that, why I was just about to go do a workout is because I was pissed off at Etsy. So I have designed, I'll put the link down below for you if you want to check it out if you're curious, but I had started doing a print on demand company where I was just doing my fun designs and I like skeletons. I think they're fun and cool and I love puns. So I put the two together. So I just been designing some really fun skeleton merchandise. So I decided to work on a website. However, before the website was up and running, I was going to sell an essay just to see. I loaded it up last week and I had already had a few sales from it. I'm like, wow, people are going to like this just to see if they like my stuff before like I invest in websites. So I guess the fates just wanted me to invest in the website because my Etsy account got suspended, but for no reason. <laughs> so apparently there's a glitch going on with Etsy that they said that accounts were being suspended because it was saying they didn't have the bank account information correct or they had outstanding balance. I didn't have that. And then when I went to my email, there was nothing about the suspension in my email. So I have nothing about the suspension. I just can't access my stuff or sell it. So I guess the face just wanted me to do this website. So I'm doing that now, but I'm gonna go for a run. But I thought I would share this with you. So this particular item that I got, I had sold some pieces to Rebag. And Rebag is one of my favorites to sell to because I am a Diamond member. And that means that I get more money when it comes to like sales. I get early access to things. And then I also usually get more on trade. And what I like about Rebag's trade is I can pick things in my closet, take pictures of it, once I get those quotes, I can submit them for a trade for an item and it's not like layaway or anything like that, that I can actually say that that item's mine. I don't have to put on layaway. They're saying, hey, we'll see your stuff, we'll examine it, but as of right now, you, you owe $0 for that piece. So that's what I did for this bag. And usually it's really fast. It usually takes about a week for you to get the information back about the piece and then they ship it out and you get it in like two or three days. I decided to sell my Balenciaga stuff and one of the pieces on there caused all this drama and it was this Balenciaga toboggan hat, whatever you want to call it. We call it toboggans, but it was this hat and had Balenciaga on it and I had bought it from Rebag. So what Rebag offers is similar to what Fashion File does, that since I bought it back in, I think it was August or September, they were gonna offer me a trade of $200. And I had like three days left or four days left. And I was like, okay, I accept that trade. And I put, I put all the items together with the other trades that I got. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna throw this piece in there. And it was gonna make me over my amount for my item, but I'm like, you know what, I'll just have another credit, so it's fine. So like, whatever I send in, if it's over the amount of the bag, they just give me a credit for it. So then I get an email saying that they were done examining all my items, but they could not accept this hat. And I'm like, well, that's weird, because I never wore it. It was in good condition. The tag was a little loose, not much peeling on there, but it said there was like a little peeling in the description. So I thought maybe that's why they didn't accept it, but I was like, I'm pretty sure all that was in there because I never wore it. I look back on the description and sure enough, the loose tag in the peeling is all on there. So why wouldn't they accept it? So of course I contact customer service. I'm like, hey, this was an item I never wore. Here's the description. All this stuff was in there when I got it. So I don't understand why you're not accepting it. And they said, well, it just does not 
fit our criteria based on like whatever they have their criteria to be sold. And I said, well, what does that mean? What do you, <laughs> are you saying this is fake? I said, because if it's fake, you sent me a fake item. I said, I never wore this. This is a piece. And then they tried <laughs> to say, well, because I remember when I sent it to them, I had three or four days. However, when you accept that date that I shipped it was within the time period, so they should honor it. So then they tried to not honor it based on the date. It says, well, we can't do the 200 because it's past that date. And I said, I shipped it before then, so try again. So then finally I get Robert involved and he was my person that I get assigned to. It's kind of like a concierge. So if I'm looking for a bag or I'm having problems, because I'm a diamond member, I have this person that I reached out to him and I said, I have no idea what's going on. I said, they said everything was accepted and they're being weird about this hat that I never wore that I got from you. Finally, I get a message back from him. He says, it was a glitch. It should never have happened. They should accept it. They're gonna accept the hat. Everything's fine. So I'm thinking that's fine. My stuff doesn't ship out. It still doesn't ship out. So I'm like, okay. So I contact customer service. I look at my piece and as you see right here, it says accepted. It'll say, this is accepted. If they are reviewing your piece, it'll say item in review. And when I had looked at it for the hat, it said not accepted. So then I looked at it and it says everything's accepted. So I'm like, okay, because there was this glitch, because there was a problem, maybe there's still a problem. So I want to contact them. So I contact them and then they said, oh, we're still reviewing your items. I said, oh, that doesn't make sense to me because when I look online, it says everything's accepted. And it only says that if you're gonna ship the item. Like if it's in review, it says in review. And the guy said to me through sassy messages, you could just tell he's typing with like this. He said, let me explain this to you again. I'm like, oh, do explain. Your items have been accepted. However, they're still in review. So I said, oh, so accepted doesn't mean accepted. Because for me, accepted means you accepted those pieces and you are going to give me the money for that. Like, what does accept it mean to you? And he said, well, we have technically until Friday to get back to you. So this was last week, last Friday. I said, okay, but if I don't hear anything by Monday, I'm gonna be contacting you again. And of course I contacted, I felt bad. I contacted my concierge. I was like, listen, they're getting a little sassy with me. I, I, I get it, but this is weird. It says accepted. And then he said, I'm gonna find out for you. So then he said, they were deciding on my sweaters, whether they're gonna take them or not. And then he says, okay, well, they're gonna give you a little bit less money for your sweaters because there's peeling on them. I said, oh, okay, okay. And you're gonna owe $40. And I was like, all right. However, they had just sent me a credit for $100 because I'm awesome, because of the amount of money I spend. I said, well, I have a $100 credit on here. Can't you just get rid of that and call it a day? Use it for this $40. And he's like, let me find out for you. We can't do that. I was like, okay. So then days are going to buy and I'm like, man, I want this for a trip I'm doing this week, actually. I was like, I need this for a trip. It is now going over two weeks since like I shipped them out. Like what the heck is going on? And I had contacted Robert and I said, hey, how do I pay this $40? I haven't gotten an email. I just want to pay the $40. I want my bag. I better freaking love this bag. It is taking so long. How do I get paid for or how do I pay this $40? Let's just get it done. And he said he was gonna find out for me. And then he contacts me and he says, listen, I took care of it. You're not gonna owe the $40 and this should be shipped out here soon. It's in the queue to be shipped out. I was like, okay, thank you. Cause I have a trip tomorrow that I wanna go on. And then after it was all said and done, I was so happy this was just done. That I was finally like all this drama over a trade with Rebag. And he did explain to me that we're probably gonna notice this with platforms like Rebag, Fashion File, we've already noticed it is that they're going through changes. People are leaving, going, training difficulties. So stuff is gonna fall through the cracks. However, it's important to leave to have relationships with people if you can. For me, I luckily had a relationship with somebody and I do, I send him like I send him like gift cards to Starbucks and stuff because I appreciate the things he does for me. And I think that's a good tip to have. Like if you have an essay or you have somebody that's in the retail industry that you love, that helps you out, that gets you the things you want, just like tip them or do something nice for them. If it's their birthday, send them, send them flowers, do something nice for them because it freaking sucks being at retail right now. And I know because I'm trying to do e-commerce and it freaking sucks. Okay, let's go on to the bag that I better freaking love because <laughs> there's so much drama involved. Let's get to it. Man, I could not find my scissors. I had to go use the kitchen scissors. So here we are, nice and wrapped. 
per usual. Here it is in here. Dust bag. And they also, which I love about Rebag, they also put in a plastic bag in case something happens. It is winter time. There's always tons of snow. So I love that they do that for added protection. This is in its original dust bag. And here we go. I got the Louis Vuitton. I think it's called Montsui. Montsui backpack and I forget what size this is but it's like one size up from like the mini size and I really love this bag I love the shape of it I've had this bag in like the vintage version I also bought it in the vintage EM size however that one has the vaquetta leather and I can't really take it out in the elements and I really love backpacks and I've decided actually to sell two of the backpacks I currently have in my collection because I have bought this bag. I just because of the review that I saw from LV Coffee Lover, Tiffany loves this bag. I love this leather because I've got my bum bag back in my life. It is in this leather. And this time of year we have rain, we have snow. It's disgusting. I need adorable leather, but I also want it to look nice and be fashionable but also functional during this time of year so have the fact that this is a backpack and it's just lovely i just love this even though it's like a textured leather the fact that it has the louis vuitton monogram on it makes it look so beautiful and she loves the fact that there's a snap here to open it and you actually have this so i don't have to like worry about like doing the slip knot the bubble wrap and here it is, and it's this like micro suede lining. There is just a little slip back there. Open it, I wonder if I can fit, I don't think I can fit my computer in here. I have to try it, it might stick out the top. But I am traveling for work here soon. I thought, oh, I can fit like some of my notebooks and documents and all that stuff. And then my books and stuff for the plane and wear this. And then I'm gonna bring my Louis Vuitton Keep All 50 with the strap with me as, as well for my carry-on. Here's this, and then this zipper right here is going to be perfect, I think, to fit my cell phone. I think that'll fit my cell phone because I don't have a big one right here. And then you also have this little doodad thing on the side here. I don't really care for it. I mean, it's okay. I might take it off, I might leave it on. I don't really anticipate myself like really styling with something here. However, it doesn't bother me either way if I leave it on. And this is made in France. And again, I don't really care if they're made in France, but I guess like people love that. So I was like, it's made in France, guys. We gotta do that flex for you. Let me see how it looks on me. I love that this has like a magnet on here. It's a pretty good magnet. I think this is gonna be great for traveling on the plane because anytime I travel, I like to make sure my items are secure. And that's a pretty good magnet right there. Like I'm gonna, if someone tries to open it, like I'm gonna notice. Here's how it looks on me. I think it looks really good. See, look how amazing it looks right here on the side. That's one of the reasons I love this style bag so much. I just think that this look is so cool and just looks so nice. Just like, oh look, I'm all casual. I look like I'm hip and I know what I'm doing, even though I look like a slob half the time of my life here. Let's compare it to my PM, which I have right here. And they're not too far off. I'm gonna see if I can fit my laptop in here. I don't think I will be able to. I'll probably just have to keep that in my 50 when I travel, but let's try it. Nope, guys, it does not fit. Like, well, it fits, but it doesn't, it's not able to close with it. If I'm like in a desperate pinch, I could just like throw it like this and carry it like that, but it's not going to feel very secure because it's just like hanging out because of the weight. But it almost fits it, which really surprised me. So I'll probably just keep my laptop in my other carry-on, but oh, it's so cute. And it's not heavy, it's like so perfect. Okay guys, I am super excited about this bag. I do love it. Do I think it was worth the wait? Probably, I'm probably gonna love this. I love my bum bag so much. During the winter, this winter, I have used that bag, my YSL shopping tote, the big one, and now I have this. And I just think this is gonna be awesome. Like even with my big poofy coats, I'm gonna be able to fit this on my back. I love that it's gonna be secure. I'm gonna be able to travel with it. And I think it looks nice enough for me going to a conference, like having it on my back and carrying my things around it. And I think that's gonna be great because I don't need my laptop around with me when I'm going through the conference. I just like to have my laptop on me when I'm doing other things. So I love it. Okay guys, that is everything. Let me know if you've been running into some problems 
with like Rebag and Fashion File. Have you been noticing that there's been some drama with your recent purchases and or selling trades? Please put in the comments down below. And as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again. Bye guys.